Welcome to A Word of Hope for Tuesday after Epiphany. My name is Father Brendan Curran, Dominican promoter for justice and peace for the United States and Canada. The miracle of the loaves and fishes. What an appropriate reading to hear in the gospel today in this time of celebrating the epiphany of the manifestation of the Christ child. We all know the story of the miracle of the loaves and fishes, you know, the, the great crowds of thousands of people gathered and spent the whole day listening to the teachings of Christ. And it was getting late and some were starting to murmur and share comments and concerns. It's getting late. Send the folks to the villages to go buy food for themselves. But how important that we hear the word of challenge from Christ in this miracle story. He stopped the disciples and said to them, how much do we have? Go and see. And so with that, despite their anxieties, they went around to ask among the families and they gathered up five loaves and two fish and they felt that was still not enough. But Jesus took the loaves in his hands, broke the bread, said a blessing, and shared and called to them, go and share with the families. As we know, to their astonishment, not only were people eating and satisfied, that they began to bring around baskets with the extra leftovers, and there was plenty in abundance to fill the baskets as well. Today, we are called in this time of celebrating the Epiphany how do we recognize that calling for each of us? We as Christians, we who are baptized, how much do you have? Go and see. That's our call today. We all might be right there with the disciples and some of the others murmuring right with them. There's not enough vaccine to get around. They haven't had a chance to get tested for days, too much time. We hear of all of the anxieties and the weight of the pandemic and so many issues that it means for us these days. Let us remember that call, the Christ calls for each and every one of us. Go and see, how much do we have? That was the spirit of Joseph and Mary who chose to defy the odds and birth the Christ child in a manger, in a stable, where the smelly animals were around them. That was the spirit that guided three wise men from afar, from other cultures and traditions and religious professions. That was what inspired them to go and see and recognize Christ in our midst. So let that be a word of hope. Go and see.